Hello again, I am Blunty and unfurling behind me here in a massive tidal wave of geekery and nerdship is the Armageddon Expo here in Sydney this weekend. I've come along to check it out, the swipe getting absolutely slaughtered last night and feeling like hammered crap this morning. But, you know, you can't miss out on these things, they're always fun, so I'm going to drink the rest of Uncle Blunty's Magic Wake Up Juice, hit the show floor and see what I can find out, see what I can do, see what I can buy. Somebody at this con got me sick. But we'll get to that later. Rolling back the clock slightly, the event started, as these conventions always do, with the traditional line ride. It's never much fun, but almost everyone goes on it anyway. Also traditional are the people in elaborate costumes wandering around and pretending they're not sweating buckets inside their plastic prisons. God bless them. Of course, there were all manner of geek emergency supplies on offer. Comics, completely awesome but shockingly priced figurines, t-shirts, bags, plushies of varying degrees of adorableness, and vendors in their own adorable bear costumes. And of course, a wide range of lethal bladed weaponry for the person in your life who deserves a stab wound or axe hole. Femme Troopers, the best thing Star Wars fans have ever invented, ever. I actually saw fewer hugs than I usually expect to at this kind of event. Disappointing. A predator with a helmet malfunction with tiny girl helpers? Not intimidating. The doctor keeps claiming these Dalek blokes are the most evil things ever. The small girl taking a stroll with it doesn't seem that threatened to me. I'm not sure what this guy did to piss off the Ninja Turtles, but Mikey didn't crack a single joke while beating the crap out of him. Disappointing. There is nothing that isn't awesome about this shot. The trading card geeks even had their own dark little corner where the secrets of deep dorkery were passed on to the next generation of power nerds. The guys from Rooster Teeth, their only Aussie appearance by the way, were very popular. The line was never ending all day. And sadly, I didn't get time to get my own DVD with a signature done. <sighs> There was a kit replica on show, and as far as I could tell, it was an exact replica, right down to every little detail. Except the steering wheel was on the wrong side. X-Wing Ute, enough said. Celebrity guests, including Laura here, who's in V and also plays Supergirl in Smallville, were great, even if some of them seemed a little uncomfortable in this kind of spotlight. Bumper cars. The first time I've ever seen them at a con. Very weird, and not very popular. Still more popular than the teacup ride. WTF. Jedi patrol the halls, keeping all the attendees safe and small children bewildered. Unusual photo opportunity. And another. Weirder still, but also awesome. Xena with too many Gabriels, or not enough Gabriels. Some just hammed it up for my camera. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hey, there's that friendly Dalek again, and... Uh, oh, that's that's inappropriate touching. Bad Dalek. That's a naughty Dalek. Maybe they are evil after all. But the real story is someone out there who shook my hand infected me with disease. I'm now feeling really quite sick. It could have been this guy, or this girl, or any one of more than a dozen of you guys who stopped me for a chat, which was great, but somebody infected me and someone's to blame and I will find you and I will catch you next time. <laughs> well, so it's all right for you to take a picture of me, but I can't take one of you. Yes, yes. Because you're the YouTube person. I know. I just subscribe to you.